guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Friday, September 4th, 2020. Just a reminder, if you don't have all your notifications on and uh, didn't get the notification, I have 50% off all my services from uh, now until Monday, uh, September the 7th, 11.59 Eastern Standard Time. So you can pay now and heal later. So you can sit there and book a future reading if you're busy right now. Obviously, kids are going back to school for some people. Um, my kids have been back for a while. And, um, you know, just getting back into schedule and you're too busy. So you could sit there, pay now, and heal later and book maybe in the middle of September, end of September, maybe October, beginning of October. Up to you. So you can pay now, save later. Um, I'll know a lot of people don't feel comfortable with that because I totally get it because it's like, if obviously, if you're new to the channel, welcome and you don't know me, you know, obviously... A lot of people don't want to take a kind of, that kind of risk. No worries. These sales happen, like, you know, around the long weekends or a celebration. So there will be many more discount days to come. So don't feel like if you are hesitant to participate, there's more discount days to come. So today we're pulling from the, the Psychic Tarot of the Heart Oracle Cards, as well as Queen of the Moon Oracle Cards. I mixed it up... Um, with Instagram and said, um, Moonology. That's a different deck. My apologies. I believe I corrected myself later. So I love this, um, because it's actually some people I've read for this week are uh, last week and do a follow up questions this week. We have moving on. We have number eight. This is the, uh, uh, traditionally the eight of cups. So this is moving forward. And I feel like if with, if you're a spiritual person, you know, the foot, the footprints in the sand, Usually there's another set of footprints, so it's like you're not alone on this moving forward. But I feel like because that triggered with me, I feel like they're telling you as you move forward, your guardian angels are with you. You're surrounded by the universe. I, with the water, we are surrounded by our emotions. But you are because your feet are on the sand, it's like you're staying grounded in your emotions. So it kind of reminds me of this star card, you know, balancing the two. So change cycle, authenticity. Change is a necessary part of the natural world. This is also true of relationships. As a person evolves, so must a relationship or it will go stagnant. This card is a reminder to examine your current relationship to see if they still feed your soul and help you grow. Are you staying in a relationship because it seems quote unquote okay or there is no quote unquote real reason to end it but you feel like something is missing? Do your relationships have substance and bring you joy? Are you able to are you able to be your authentic self in your relationship? I know with myself, I was uh, stifled. Like I had to cover my tattoos and everything else because, you know, my partner was afraid I would offend his parents. And I, I understood that. That's one thing that made me fall in love with him is how much he respected his parents. So I covered my tattoos and I always like, obviously I, I, I would not go to my in-laws inappropriately dressed but I wouldn't wear rocker shirts or anything like that so it's kind of stifling who you truly are so then we have healing begins so as we move on from this situation because we feel like it no longer serves us I feel like with the queen of the moon we have this hunger card to finish us off I feel like we have a hunger to move forward but we kept getting this patient card patience 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 you know we have that yearning to move forward and it's like there's a reason why we don't want you to, to be in action. Someone else is going to be in action. There's a reason why they want us to stay put right now. There, We don't know it yet. It will be revealed. But with myself, they kept telling me August 26th. August 26th. I thought we were moving to change our environment. Because I also had a numerology number come up saying a positive change to your environment was coming. I thought we were moving. Turns out the person that was the troublemaker and the triplex actually ended up moving. So now this piece is because they were always threatening and bullying and just, it wasn't good. So now they're gone. So now peace and tranquility is returned. So the next card, healing begins. So this is traditionally the Six of Swords. So this is like moving on to green pastures, I believe, the Six of Swords, where they have all the swords in front of them. Like they, they are moving forward, but they're, they're moving forward with boundaries. But this is healing of the heart because we have the, the green. So traditionally in chakras, that's the heart. Release, heal, assistance, hope. The energies around you now are guiding you toward a better place concerning dealings of the heart. 
These energies bring new information, new ideas, and new people to you. So I feel like you moving forward, this is what they're telling you. They're, that spirit is going to guide you to new places and new and new people. These energies bring new information, new ideas, and new people to you. They will assist you in evolving your current situation and help you improve it. Even good situations can be made better. What are your hopes and dreams around relationships? Be comfort, confident that you're bringing, you're being moved in their direction now. So obviously with all, what's going on in the world, I know a lot of you get offended by me saying the C word, but I won't say it. You know, I, I'm just, I'm sorry. It's on like every day everywhere else. I don't know why it's such a faux pas, but anyway, it's just the reality we live in. It's, it's put us on this big pause. You know what I mean? Like I know some of my friends want to move, but there's, there's this uncertainty. So you can't, they don't want to move. It's like the person that left that apartment. Did they, did they pass away from COVID? Did they, you know what I mean? Did, did they have the C word? Did they, were they affected by the crisis? So it's like, you would have to wash down the whole apartment really good. And it's just like this, you know, this is where this hunger comes in, but I feel like you have to have patience. So, uh, queen of the moon gratitude. So you see them holding, they're embracing, you know, an elder person's hand. Let's go hold a little closer so you can see. And it's like being grateful for those relationships, for the wisdom they have partaken upon you. So extremes. I, when I pulled this card, I feel like someone had an affair during the summer and now they are reaping the rewards of it. Not the rewards, excuse me. They're, they're reaping like, you know, the conclusion of this. Your actions. We're getting a lot of fours in this too. We have attraction. Full moon oak sites. We have attraction. I feel like she's uprooting herself. I feel like this is like moving on. Because you see all the roots here? I feel like she's uprooting herself. And boundaries. Very, very important. Very important to do don't they're saying testing your boundaries. So it's like very important to keep those boundaries up. As much as sometimes you want to let them fall, don't. And this hunger. And it's very magnified by the full moon. But we have to remember, they keep telling us patience. What, like they're telling us, some of us, maybe it's okay to move on. Because, you know, they're telling us this healing is going to take place in the right piece, people, situations. It will unfold. But I feel like something, let the universe move the pieces. Let the pieces move around you. For once in your life, don't sit there and move. They're going to move it around you. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Friday, September 4th, 2020. Happy long weekend for those of you participating. And don't forget, if you are you know, have the urgency or, or the urge to get a, a reading and or you never tried it out before, what a great time to do it with the discount going on. You could pay now, heal later, or you could partake now. And we'll see you guys for the next Daily Tarot card. Happy long weekend. Be safe out there, guys.